What well, the guys my name is and today we have a awesome foot chance squad builder that you should use 100 percent by and or for the weekend league rather. And I will have the total price of the squad at the end of the video, so I'm not gonna go ahead and just put every single price down for each player. I'm gonna calculate it at the end of the video I'm done making it and then I put the text on it at the end of the video. Well, first of all, let's start off in goal. And his name is Kaylor Navas, really good goalkeeper for Real Madrid. 85 rated, 87 diving, 85 reflex, really good center, uh, goalkeeper rather. Overall, probably one of the best ones in the La Liga right now. Next pro we have Rafael Varane. Nothing to go wrong with Varane. He has high pace, um, high physical, high defending for a center back. 77 pace, 85 defending, 70 physical. Really good for a center back. Don't get an anchor card on him, and he will be a really good center back, without a doubt. And his Frenchy teammate at other center back is actually Kurt Zuma. A little curveball here because you don't really see much Kurt Zuma in the squads lately. Because he has 73 pace, which is really good for a center back. 80 defending, 81 physical. That's why people don't use him, but you can just put it on a center card, and he'll be amazing. But. I have Kurzuma on this team for one reason, or two reasons rather, one chemistry and one I'm a PS4 player. What I mean by that is that I would 100% would not use Zuma, I would use uh, Blanc if I was on it, if, uh, the Xbox player, but since I'm a PlayStation player, I don't have access to Legends unfortunately. That's really like dumb in my opinion because I think that Legends should be on each console so I could be rocking Blanc in this team, but I can so he's there for chemistry reasons and his Right back is going to be Hector Bellerin, without a doubt, the best right back on this game, in my opinion. I think he's better than Lom. Not in real life, no. In this game, yes, it was 100 doubt. 95 pays. Let's just stop it right there. 95 pays. And he's 94 defending with 68 physical. It's not, eh. But believe me, physical does not matter because he just goes right past him. His speed is right. It's so good. I think he's like, if he gets another, uh, like, an of not another but like a inform or two informs he'll have a 99 pace without a doubt i think like a bomb yang will get like another inform he'll have 99 pace and then bellerin give him i'll give him two to three inform but be really hard to get at the right back but he will 100 percent get another inform hopefully but i think he's injured right now but i also scored or he also signed a long-term contract with arsenal so congrats to arsenal hopefully you can keep him healthy because i think he's injured right now actually Along with Alexis Sanchez, which is really unfortunate for you guys, but I do think Sanchez did play the other day against PSG, but another than last is good right to our left back. And his name is Marcelo. I don't even have to like mention or uh, like anything about Marcelo because everyone knows about Marcelo. He's a veteran left back, probably one of the best left backs in the world. Or right now, we're actually not of all time because all time, Roberto Carlos is 100% the best left back of all time, in my opinion. 79 pace, 82 physical, or 82 defending rather, 80 physical, really good. Also, if you got a scaler, 4 star skills, if you're a scaler. But I mean, I really have to go into detail with Marcelo because he's really good uh, left back. You guys probably know around him already. And a link up with Marcelo, we have Luka Modric. Like I said, don't need to go into detail with Luka Modric. The only thing I like about him, he's 5'9, but he has 89 dribbling, 86 passing, and 75 shooting, 74 passing. Or pace rather. All we really have to do is throw another card on Luka Modric, and he you know, honestly he'll probably be one of the best enemies you've ever used on this game. And this is the position right here. This position right here really destroyed me here because the two center mids I was gonna use they're not that good. They're good, but they're not good to bring in the foot champions. If you want to play foot champions like on weekly, you're gonna need to be competitive. You need to have a fantastic team. Legends, Jack Ronaldo, Bale, Boateng, Sergio Ramos. Legends, like, it's really hard with this uh, thing here. So, under his subs here, I'm going to go ahead and put in the two players. And the first player is Santi Cazorla. And the second player is um, Fabregas. And the reason why, because uh, the, uh, wait, how do you spell, I forgot how to spell Fabregas. Check Fabregas, here we go. Because it's a uh, Spanish link here, and it'll connect with the rest of the squad. And now, I mean, because Laura has better pace and shooting, I just don't know, because these two players are good. Don't get me wrong, Fabregas and Gazora are really talented, they're really good players, they're all talented all together. 
but I don't think neither of these players are good enough to qualify or good enough for the weekend league because people are rolling in with like Trekker, Ronaldo, Bale, Messi, Neymar, Suarez, Benzema, all these good players and I don't think Azor and Fabregas are good enough to go into a weekend league squad because I did, uh, I was looking around YouTube for like weekend league squads or foot champions teams and I did not see Fabregas or Azor once in any of those teams. Everybody has legends, everybody has like all these good players, like Inietta, all of these good players, but for chemistry reasons, we're going to be using the Fabregas, actually. And you could probably cook, uh, poke Azorla in here, but I prefer uh, Fabregas just for chemistry. But if, like I said, guys, if we're an Xbox One player, I would use Blanc for Zuma and a legend for Fabregas, like a Spanish legend. If there's one, I'm not too sure because I'm not an Xbox player, but I do not know like, any legends at all. You know, I should because I really i am a big football fan, but I don't know like, any legends, unfortunately. But our CDM is going to be um, Conte. Conte, fantastic uh, CDM, or sentiment rather. But if you guys do have the inform, I'll put the inform in, but I, I don't, I don't even have any of this team actually. But I actually might buy it, I'm not too sure, but I'm saving my coins up for right now. Conte, 80 pace, uh, 83 physical, 8 defending. His cons about this, um, about him, 36 shooting, not that good of a finisher, and he's 5'7". That's my one thing I like about Conte. Everybody says he's so good, but I'm just looking at his height. He's five seven, but he's a strong little man. Not trying to take offense anyway there, but he's 83 physical for five seven. That's pretty good. And I can me have a bit of Esco to Disco. Really good player. Um, if you have his in form, I would use it. But right now, I'm just use his normal card. 84 overall. Uh, Real Madrid and Conte at Chelsea. Obviously, if you didn't know that already. He links up beautifully with Zuma and links up with Fabrica, that's why I picked them. So they're both on full cam, but uh, he's not going to be because he is not a CDM. Isco, 75 shooting, 72 pace, which is not too good, but it's 86 dribbling. I think he's a really good cam. He links perfectly where two strikers. Two strikers are going to be Benzema. And the other striker is going to be Dio Costa. Before I go into detail, I honestly hate Diego Costa in real life, I'm not going to lie, but he's a god, I'm sorry, but I hate him, but he's so good. 95 pace, but he's not good for a strike, you're really bad in my opinion. 88 physical, and he's 6 2 with really good finishing. 88 physical on a striker is fantastic, no one can knock off the ball, he's that strong. And Benzema, 81 pace, 84 uh, shooting, 82 dribbling. I think he's a really cool hybrid, actually, I'm not that good at making hybrids. But I think the foot champions team is really good, and you guys should go ahead and buy it for a weekend league. If you don't like it, then I'm pretty sure you can sell this team for like 200k probably. Or probably more, because I don't know how much these players are. I just know that this team is going to cost a lot of coins, so I will have the price right now. I honestly don't know because I have to go calculate all the players, but um, yeah guys, I hope you all enjoyed the foot champions uh, squad builder. Tomorrow's video will be Saturday. Tomorrow's video, we will have episode 2 of Road Division, or National Road Division on Sunday. I'll have a look at the career mode, and that's going to be a tribute to Steven Gerrard retiring. It was really emotional for Liverpool fan. We all want him to come back for one more season. Lift up that cup, because I think Liverpool might have this year. We're looking so good. We're second place right now, because I think Chelsea's above us. We're, out, we're playing Sunderland tomorrow. Hopefully, you get a good W, or Sunday. I don't know, actually. I think it's either... Um, Monday or tomorrow. I'm pretty sure it's the 29th, so it's gonna be Monday. But um, hopefully do win the win the title though, because that'll be amazing. Because I think Gerard is gonna be a coach, a youth coach for Liverpool. So hopefully he could just be there, watch us win the title. Hopefully he'll lift the title up with the team. That'll be just so emotional. It'll be like the, one of the best things I would probably see ever. But yeah, guys, that'll be on Sunday, a little tribute to Steven Gerrard with the episode 5 of Career Mode. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, at least some feedback, as a uh, sub if you do enjoy my content. We're on the edge of 40 subs, which is really good in my opinion. Thanks for all, uh, thanks for all the feedback and just all good like likes and uh, views all around. We really appreciate it. And I think my channel is doing fantastic. Like, I actually can't like believe it, but... It's all thanks to you guys. At one point, I will give back to you guys. Just wait for it. Unexpectedly, I will use like a giveaway or something like a hundred subs. 
probably give away a fifty dollar PSN card, whatever. But we're not gonna get there yet. I'm not gonna have to go ahead and stick to that future. But once again, guys, hope you have a fantastic night. Stay safe, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. And.